Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make an adjustable bushcraft pot hanger that can hold your pot over a fire. Uh, it's made entirely of wood and the only tools that you'll need will be a knife, uh, an axe or a saw, uh, preferably a saw I think, but an axe will do as well. And uh, we've already created a fire, but you'll also need a fire that will have some nice hot coals or just a fire that is okay to cook over. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need some live wood that's long and straight. And uh, best best thing to use is hazel because I find they often grow in shoots that are very straight. But we're just going to have a look around and see what we've got because there's not a whole massive amount of hazel here. So let's go have a look. Okay, so the saw we're going to be using today, Baco Laplander. My first day actually properly testing it, we use it to press process some firewood, working great. Anyway, so this tree's alive, got that green tint to it if I do that. We want quite a long bit, so I'm going to start here. The reason I picked this tree is because it's long and straight. Baco Laplander long and efficient. So we've got this nice long bit here that's relatively straight. The next thing we need is a small stake that has a Y in it. So that's what we're going to be looking for now. Uh, I can't actually see any directly around me, but I know that they have to be alive because then otherwise they run the risk of actually lighting on fire on your fire. So we'll have a look for one of those now. Okay, so we've got this one here, and uh, I've cut it out of the thing here to get it a little bit lower so you guys could see the Y here. But uh, basically, we need a Y like this, relatively thick base here, and a strong Y here. And we're going to cut it quite high, don't want it too high, but we want it high enough so that we can fit the other log resting in this bit here. Brilliant. Fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the two logs that we have, we've got this one here and this one here, and we're going to take these back and turn them into our cooking set. So the first thing we're going to want to do is estimate the height of the stake. This is way too high because we're thinking that actually the way this is going to work is it's going to come out like this and then we're going to hang things off here. Now if you were making something that didn't need much heat at all, this could work quite well. But uh, for the meantime I think it's probably a little bit high for what we're trying to do. So I'm actually going to shorten the stake to about here, cut it at an angle so I can stick it in and uh, probably keep this the same height, maybe a little bit shorter because we, we can adjust this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose where this is and we're going to point the Y towards the fire and then we're going to baton it into the ground. Now I put a stick in the middle here because it just makes it easier to whack it into the ground. You've just got to be careful at this stage, you don't actually break the Y because if you break the Y you've got to start all over again and get a new Y because you can't produce, reproduce that. We need it strong enough but this will also be weighted down so it's more about the fact it holds its position than it's actually strong so that will do fine. Right, next thing we're going to want to do, I'll keep that dry, is we're going to want to put a slight point on our long bit here. What we're going to do now, this doesn't take very long at all. Got a bearing block here, and we're just going to straight up. Now, some people would say you don't actually want to put this in the ground, but in this case, you do because this isn't going to be the thing you adjust. So, we're going to want to sort of measure out where that's going and then decide whereabouts the hanger's going to go, which is here. Make a mark there, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to actually cut at quite a steep angle into the wood like that and I'm going to use my backhoe for that. But that's definitely not steep enough of an angle. What we do is we just use a knife. We want a slightly flat edge on here so don't that other side just sort of and then it's worth as well. I'm doing this wrong. 
just taking the bark off the other side as well makes it smoother. And then you can also flatten it on this side as well a little bit. This is looking really good so far. We've got a flattened edge here, there's a profile of it like that. Flat at the top, well flat enough, and at an angle here. And we have our stake here. So, with the flat edge pointing up, we put it above the fire, overestimate a little bit, and just guide it into place. And you want the end of it as close to the middle of your fire as possible. If it's not quite right, like that was, take it out, go again. Let's have a bit of a spring in it actually, that's quite good. And just jam it in, and perfect. So that is step one. Now, of course, from this point here, quite honestly, you could very easily just hang a pot off that. And if I was going to do that, what I'd do is, if you come around this side, I'll show you. Uh, we've got the flat edge here, I would cut a notch in there and then a notch in here and then it would hold the thing a lot more secure but because we're not doing that I'm going to show you we need a third piece so we've uh, got another nice stick of dry wood it's important this bit is quite uh, quite straight so this is straight enough now what the aim is here one end of it is going to rest on the lip and the other end of it is going to have some nodules on it so probably three I reckon that are going to hold up the uh, the actual canteen when you put it on or whatever it is you're hanging over the fire so what we're actually going to do here is, I'm actually going to cut like this. So I'm going to use this grip here. This is called plumber's grip actually. It's better with longer bits, but the same principle applies. Now what we want to get with this, if we're putting it on the top of there, is a, an edge that goes 90 degrees to the top. And the larger of surface area we can give this edge, the better this set is going to be staying on the actual stick. Don't go too far in, otherwise it's going to break. More than halfway and you know you're struggling. So you see that is going to go, oh look at that, that's beautiful, that is rest like that. But if we're doing that, there's no point in baking a stick. You can't eat a stick. I wish you could, it would make life easier. But you can't. So, I'm actually going to make this a little bit shorter. We're going to make a second lip. Need a better grip again. No, it's too short. We're going to have to just improvise this. Brilliant. And then we've got another lip there like that. And that can go up like that, so we've got two heights. Now, if you use a longer stick and put this higher, you could, in theory, have many, many heights that you could put this at. Oh, gosh, that is very hot fire, actually, now. Right, so now what we want to do is we're going to go from the other side and I'm actually going to use a knife for this because life is going to be hard if you don't. I'm going to use my knife for a change. <laughs> we're going from the other side. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cut a V in because I really like the V kind of... And then those of us that know how cuts work will know that what I've created there is kind of like a fish hook. You know, it goes like this but not all the way through. <sighs> and then we can actually cut into this like that. Don't worry about getting this, uh, not even worth doing that. This is hard, but you know, we can get this. I've done this many times. Right, just checking how deep, deep the cut goes with my knife. Oh, need more on this side. What do you think? Only one way to find out. Right, okay, so, there we can see how it works. It's hanging, albeit somewhat precariously. <laughs> I'll probably adjust that a little bit more. On here, like that, and then we can put it there quite high. Or, if we want to, we can put it right in the flames like that. And that means we can adjust how hot things are going. And like I've said earlier, you can change how many nodules are actually in the top stick to change how adjustable it is. And also you can make this higher if that works. So uh, we're not going to use this just yet because uh, we haven't actually got anything in it. Might make some coffee later. <sighs> Could even boil an egg, who knows. Uh, but yeah, that is an adjustable campcraft 
bushcraft pot hanger, anything with a loop of some sort will work. So I'm going to take, and then when you're done, take it off the heat, and there you go, all sorted. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for watching this video, and I hope that you give this a try elsewhere, because this pot mechanism, it works really well for me. And, uh, you know, it's pretty easy to deconstruct and pretty easy to construct. We probably made this in the space of about half an hour, 40 minutes. So uh, if you like this video and you want to see more, one video I really recommend is have a look at uh, Last Gear Wednesday's Life Venture Titanium Plate, which is another method of cooking on a campfire and getting some uh, really nice uh, wild camping kind of grub going. So thank you very much. Uh, I'm Jack Outdoors. I upload one video every week. It can be gear reviews, prepping, survival tutorials, and everything in between. So uh, pop along and subscribe if you think that that could be uh, something you'll enjoy. Anyway, thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Jack out.